And tonight at 10, a deadly plane crash under investigation in Kenosha County. Authorities say the small aircraft was heading to the EAA Air Venture when something went wrong. Good evening. I'm Charles Benson. And I'm Shannon Sims. Two people were found dead in the wreckage. Todd Hicks is live in Kenosha County with the latest. Todd. Well, exactly when this plane crashed is still a mystery tonight. Now, federal investigators are trying to figure out what caused it to go down. It's the heartbreaking end to a flight that ended in a very violent way. The two occupants, the two males that were in it, uh, both perished in a plane crash. They didn't survive it. This is the experimental single engine plane headed to Oshkosh. The pilot and his passenger were on their way to EAA Air Venture when the plane vanished. It had been missing for nearly 24 hours. A cell phone ping pinpointed its location near Highway 45 and 60th Street in Bristol. And they think the plane crashed somewhere in the last 24 hours. The exact time has not been determined yet. It's not clear exactly what caused that airplane to fall from the sky, but you can see the crumbled cockpit and even a piece of the broken propeller. It appears it, it was a pretty vertical crash. The trees that are around it, they weren't damaged in any way. It doesn't look like the plane was coming in for some kind of landing. Authorities are still trying to contact family members, but they say they believe the two men are from Kentucky. Exactly what happened seconds before the crash may never be known because the sheriff says neighbors heard nothing. No one saw it. It is, uh, it's right now, it's behind um, a brush pile. It is behind tall weeds. You can barely see the tail of this plane sticking up. And the NTSB took that aircraft away just about an hour or two ago. They tell me it's taken to an undisclosed location, but they expect to have some preliminary findings in about a week. We're live in the town of Bristol tonight. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Yeah, certainly a mystery for investigators. All right, Todd, thanks.